We have some pretty big updates to go through here in today's video for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone Season 3. Downloading this new season early, a surprise update that's going to bring us early content from Season 3 available tonight. Some release times for when this season is actually playable. Some stuff that Treyarch revealed today regarding patch notes. When are we going to see a reveal trailer for this? More nuke event information for tomorrow and Thursday. Some huge news and changes for Zombies XP getting deep. DLC weapons in zombies only and not having to go to multiplayer so a lot of stuff to go through here in today's video I want to thank you guys yet again for showing love support on everything we've been doing here on the channel daily videos daily streams recently as well I really do appreciate it guys we are now only less than 500 subs away from 73k so if you are new you are enjoying all of this content I really would appreciate if you do subscribe to the channel if we can go for 700 likes on the video I'd appreciate that so much as well. Let's get started here. Just a quick update on downloading this season early. So tonight, the season three download will be available for all platforms at these times up on screen. A bunch of people have been reporting to me that PlayStation users have already been able to preload this update the past day, the past 24 hours. But Xbox and PC guys, we have to wait until tonight, these times here, to start downloading this. And again, I would recommend downloading this as early as possible. So when this update does release tomorrow night, you are ready to play without any download or internet issues. Treyarch updates us on some more information here. They say after this download tonight, Season 3 will begin 24 hours later at 9 p.m. Pacific Time, April 21st, 12 a.m. Eastern, April 22nd. Watch for full patch notes tomorrow with details on everything coming at launch in the season in Black Ops Cold War. Up on screen again are the times in which Season 3 will officially release for Black Ops Cold War. It is Wednesday night, tomorrow night, these times up on screen the full update will be available in cold war and Treyarch again tell us that tomorrow they will release the full patch notes for season three with details on everything we need to know about season three most likely that will be released at around 1 p.m eastern time i will be streaming tomorrow during the afternoon breaking it down live for you guys so be sure to pull up to that stream and hopefully again we do get some type of reveal trailer or a season three intro cutscene potentially those are definitely things we could see tomorrow a day before the season releases so a lot of stuff happening tomorrow and then only a couple of hours later starting at 3 p.m eastern time we have this up on screen the nuke event at least part one of the nuke event so the times here are when part one of this event will occur and i will be streaming for that as well obviously should be really really fun now let's look at what Treyarch's doing tonight for black ops cold war so similar to what they did with season two they are releasing a bunch of different features and content from season three early a whole day early into cold war right now by the time this video is uploaded it will most likely be available for you guys so definitely be sure to check everything out a lot of really cool stuff here this is a preview of some of the stuff they're adding early into the game coming in tonight's update at 9 p.m pacific 12 a.m eastern new lobby theme strafe run score streak cargo truck new weapon tuning league play combat record increased xp in zombies which is really interesting expanded outbreak objectives split screen updates operator randomizer feature and more so really really cool here a lot of different things added to the game ahead of the season releasing tomorrow night and some more stuff here new weapon tuning incoming in our black ops cold war pre-season update for all lmgs all shotguns including the street sweeper the ffar1 krig 6 assault rifle barrel attachments smg sprint speed and more and again they say full patch notes detailing all of the specific weapon changes coming tomorrow midday something huge here for zombies that everyone has been talking about season three weapon unlock challenges in zombies including the graza mac 10 street sweeper r 83 lc 10 r1 shadow hunter zrg 20 millimeter sledgehammer wakazashi machete e-tool ballistic knife and pretty much any dlc weapon battle pass weapon that's added to the game you would usually have to go into multiplayer and go through 15 to 20 multiplayer matches getting three kills per match doing these different challenges and if you are a zombies specific player and you just don't enjoy playing multiplayer 
it is so annoying and difficult to get these weapons here. I actually enjoy Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, but I still find it very annoying and difficult to get these DLC weapons in these multiplayer matches. It just takes so much time, and I'd much rather just play zombies and do different challenges to actually get these weapons here. So such a good change here, especially for zombie players. And here's a quick example as to what a challenge might be in zombies. So to get the R1 Shadow Hunter in zombies, using a special weapon that has been pack punched at least twice, kill 50 special enemies so it still will take some time but it's a lot better to do that a lot more enjoyable potentially than playing in multiplayer matches especially if you just don't like playing multiplayer here's a really interesting update on youtubers and influencers playing the new update the new season early for warzone so modern warzone says some of the largest call of duty and warzone content creators were invited to a meeting with activision yesterday to get an early look at the changes coming to verdansk from what we've heard the feedback from the content creators was a thumbs up other leakers have also said that some of them have been able to play the new map as well i would think the most exclusive youtubers the biggest warzone streamers would actually get the chance to play and then a larger pool of content creators were just invited to the meeting yesterday and they got to look at the map and get an idea as to what they're getting tomorrow and thursday obviously i wasn't one of them unfortunately and obviously if i did get invited i wouldn't tell you guys because that's probably under an nda there but hopefully again they're being honest when they say it was a thumbs up because at every creator reveal event i feel like you hear stuff about creators loving the new game you have stuff with people being invited out to play world war ii early and people saying oh the best game ever and it turns out to be not really the best game ever uh, i did kind of like world war ii multiplayer actually side note there but you know sometimes the creators and influencers don't always have the same exact opinion as the masses and the casual call of duty fans so we'll see there hopefully it is a really really fun map we'll know for sure very shortly obviously another leak here about the new warzone map from call of duty hope there are around six new zones in 80s verdansk superstore and its surroundings are changed quite a bit port will have a new design downtown remains the same with an 80s theme construction theme with more entrances into buildings i've also been seeing a bunch of other leaks and rumors that this new warzone map will actually be fairly colorful and maybe they gave some type of enhancement to the map to make it look a bit more similar to so what we may have saw with Euro Mountains and more of a Blackout vibe, maybe. I'm not going to say it's going to look like Blackout or it's going to feel like Black Ops 4, but if they're adding a bit more color to these locations and they're making it a bit more vibrant, maybe it will give us a little bit of that vibe, and that's definitely a good thing for the game. We also had a really big interview come out that gave us some pretty big information about the future of Warzone, them developing Black Ops Cold War Season 6 right now, and other stuff like that. So Call of Duty Hope summarizes some of this info here. Warzone has been in development since 2017. Map was originally going to be set in Kabul. 200 players was originally the plan, but QA testing was a pain. Was pitched in 2018 under the codename Magma for the release with Modern Warfare 2019. Some more info here. They have plans to work on Warzone for years to come, and they're already working on content for Cold War Warzone Season 6. That's pretty much all of the main info. I'll leave the full article, the interview down below. Some really interesting insight as to how they were developing warzone during the development of blackout as well how they pitched it to activision just really really cool stuff so again the link to that will be down below them working already on cold war and warzones season six is really really interesting it shows me that one they seem like pretty ahead of schedule they seem like they really are up to things especially with their dlc content that also makes me think well what are they doing after season six modern warfare 2019 last year only had six total seasons and then the next game came out cold war and then we transitioned to season one of this game will cold war continue with a season seven that goes into world war ii vanguard's life cycle especially because activision is expecting world war ii vanguard to not be as popular maybe they will actually give cold war and warzone a season seven a season eight because of the fact that they want to compensate for the lack of players during that time for world war ii vanguard and it seems like treyarch 
does have time for that and raven they have probably have time for that too because again it seems like they're ahead of schedule they're gonna be done with season six probably very soon obviously a large portion of the studio will move over to the next game the sequel to black ops cold war they have to start on their next game they probably already did but there's probably also a good amount of people working on extra content for the game and i could definitely see them having an extended season seven or season eight or just other future content like we saw with black ops 3 not saying we're gonna get a zombie chronicles 2 we most likely are but maybe we will get big map pack updates like that during the life cycle of a different game and this time around for cold war it might not just be for zombies it might be a huge update for mp zombies obviously warzone stuff so a lot of interesting stuff here and it seems like they're on schedule they're ahead of schedule maybe and they're doing well right now so again let me know down below what do you guys think about the situation here i do think warzone and cold war pretty good combination I don't know how Warzone is going to match up with World War II Vanguard. And again, will that extend what we're seeing here with Cold War and Warzone? Are you guys tired of Cold War and Warzone? Do you want to see a World War II integration? Would you rather us move to Sledgehammer as early as possible? Let me know down below. It's going to be really interesting to see what they end up doing here in terms of DLC for the game after the life cycle of Cold War officially ends with the release of World War II Vanguard later on this year. So that's pretty much it here for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a comment down below. Season 3. If you watched the entire video, it is greatly appreciated. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.